Hello to our farmers uh, out there. Welcome to our weekly podcast. My name is uh, Dr. Bernard Mukaya, coming all the way from Livestock Services, Mazapuka. Today I have a very interesting topic for our livestock farmers out there. Today we're going to be discussing on a very important uh, aspect on our uh, farm practices. So today we're going to be doing uh, deworming, which is a very important uh, aspect when you in terms of farm, uh, farm management. So what is deworming and uh, how do we go about deworming our animals? What type of dewemers are available on the market? And with this thing called the dewemer, what are we getting rid of? So I'll start by uh, saying what a dewemer is and what it does. So deworming an animal is the procedure of an in- intro- introducing an anti-helmic that is a drug that now will go and destroy these parasites that are in the system. These are parasites that uh, definitely will reduce the immunity of an animal. So it's very important that farmers out there do this practice to definitely improve on the part of their animals. There are quite a number of uh, dewormers on the on the market. Definitely, you, I'm sure farmers that are already practicing have heard of uh, oral dewormers and injectable dewormers. So when we talk about oral dewormers, these are trends. This is a liquid form of a drip, uh, of a dewormer that uh, you give orally. And when I mean orally, you use uh, products like uh, a drench, a drench gun, an example of uh, a drench gun is this, that you introduce on the part of the animal to uh, make sure that you deliver the drug uh, to the animal so that it goes for its purpose. There are also uh, injectable dewormers where you need to use an, uh, a needle for the purpose of uh, delivering this uh, particular uh, dewormer where you use a needle and a syringe in, in, in this regard. So this uh, deworming is a very important uh, farm practice for a farmer that is keeping uh, livestock. Uh, we're talking about uh, small uh, ruminants to the large uh, ruminants uh, in, in that area. So now one would want to ask to say, why am I supposed to deworm my animal? What is the importance of uh, deworming uh, the animals? It is very important that you deworm your animals. I mean, you, you, you want to improve your, your, your stock. You want your stock to be looking good. You want your stock to be very healthy. Because if you don't deworm your, 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 your cattle, your animals, what happens is that they will have general poor condition. And you don't want to have that. The off-takers, the processors of this, of this particular products, they don't want to come and buy uh, products that are of poor quality. For example, I'll give an example of the off-takers such as Ecobif. Uh, 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 they wouldn't want to come and uh, get products that are not in good health. They wouldn't want to come and get cattle that is not in good health. Zambif equally would want a certain type of equality of, uh, in terms of the health of uh, this particular uh, the particular animals. So it's very important. Uh, equally, metabolic diseases are some of the things that you're going to prevent when you deworm your animals. Uh, equally, uh, an aspect of anemia, there are certain types of uh, worms that cause anemia. Yes, you heard it right. There are certain types of worms that result in an animal becoming anemic because these, uh, these parasites, they thrive on the blood of an animal. So they, if they increase in number, which means that they also the levels of uh, blood that they are sucking from this animal increases in number and as a result, the animal become anemic other secondary infections will come in and the animal will definitely go down. So it's an important aspect to also look at uh, when you're deworming an animal. Equally, an aspect of emaciation. The animal won't get its nutritional value from what you're feeding. You're getting very good hay, you're getting very good molasses, using very nice concentrates of which they are costing you value. So now, what is the result on the other end? When the animal has got worms, it won't fully utilize the feed that it's having. So it's very important to understand that an, an aspect of emaciation will come as a result of what? Worms in the system. Equally, for the dairy farmers, dairy farmers, milk is an important aspect. So you have to be very, very careful with, uh, with uh, the, uh, the worms. You have to eliminate them, you have to remove them. Why am I saying so? Because for the dairy farmers, if you have an increase in the infestation of worms in the part of the, the mucus, one, you're going to reduce 
in production of milk. Here's an animal that is supposed to be giving you 20 liters of milk on a daily basis, but as a result of worm infestation, they'll be sharing nutrition with the endoparasites in the system, the worms we call them. Then the, the levels of uh, uh, production in terms of milk will reduce. So it's very important. Equally on the part of fertility, fertility also can uh, uh, be affected on the part of uh, worms. Why? Is because these worms will eat up the very basic minerals, uh, trace elements that they will share with the animal. So as a result, you're going to find these animals not uh, going on heat. You find this animal not conceiving. The, the animal is three, four years old, but it has never conceived. Why? Because you've neglected an aspect of deworming. So it's very important that you, you look at uh, that aspect as well. Uh, equally for beef farmers, you take your animals to the abattoir. Then you find they tell you, you know, these animals, are, uh, these animals are condemned, this carcass is condemned, the liver is not okay. It has got an infestation of flukes. I'm sure for the, for the farmers that have done that, you understand that it's very painful to see a very big liver being condemned and not uh, taking it for the market. So uh, liver flukes will, will definitely uh, be condemned on the part of the liver and you won't have it. What does it mean for you as a, a beef farmer? You are losing out on revenue, you are losing out money on the part of uh, your, your investments. So it's very important. We are in the rainy season right now, so we expect that animals should start gaining. So it is the right time that the farmer should now go in and start deworming the animals for the benefit. Why? Because we have got an increase in the grazing. The pastures are in now, the nutritional values are in, so the levels of supplementation go down. What does it mean the animals have to get? But now, look at it, if you don't deworm, the worms are still in the system and there's good food, they'll start sharing. What does that mean? The animals will still maintain the low, the small friends and you don't want that. So it's very important to, to do uh, the deworming aspect. So now, one uh, a farmer would ask me to say, uh, but how am I going to understand? How am I going to say that my animal is needs deworming? So there are certain types of signs that an animal show you. Cattle will def definitely tell you to say, now we are we are we are at the point that we need a dewemer. Here's a farmer you've never dewemed your animal for the past two, three, four, five, six months. Automatically, you know that there's something wrong with the animal. You need to deworm. You are, you are, you are keeping your, your, your head of cattle in an area that is dumpy. You know and understand that we have got high infestation of uh, snails, which are carriers of these parasites that will cause an increase in the flukes, and you've never dewormed. Definitely, you expect a high uh, number. So, in that period, we tell you to say, now we need to deworm. Equally, the animal itself will tell you that now we need. When you look at the, 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 the coat, the coat, if the coat starts becoming rough, that is one indication that these animals need to be dewormed. Equally, an aspect of diarrhea and a profuse type of a diarrhea means there is an increase in the GIT of the animal, so which is resulting now in these animals having what? Diarrhea. The feed is not fully utilized. As a result, most of it is wasted in the diarrhea. So it's an important aspect to, to look at. Equally, you're going to notice that these your animals are not, are not gaining weight. Every time they are having weight loss, what does that mean? They are sharing the food between the parasites and the animal themselves. There are different types of uh, these parasites, and you see their life cycles, they will move from the GIT to the liver, or from the GIT to the lungs, or from the GIT to other parts of the body. So what they do is damage to the animal. What, what happens is that now the immunity is compromised on the part of the animal. So my dear farmers, it's very important that deworming is taken seriously if you want your enterprise to really grow. Some of the things that you're going to see uh, is, uh, I'm sure you, some of the farmers that have good experience in, in, in livestock are going to see what we call boto jaw. Boto jaw is a condition that uh, mostly comes in, you, you, you have it as a result of worm infestation. So it's very important to understand and know that, okay, definitely this is as a result of that. And the records will tell you, and it's very important for a farmer to understand, to say at this particular time, I'm using an injectable. At this particular time, I'm using an oral because all these different aspects of dewormers have got different classes of the parasites that they are going to attack. Quite a number uh, of uh, farmers would, would come through and ask me uh, if one type of a dewormer would sort all the types of uh, 
of, 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 of um, parasites that are there equally that's not true uh, currently I, I don't think there is one particular type of a dewema that will sort everything out you need a combination of dewemas and also the right amount is also important make sure you pay attention to detail on the part of how much you're going to use on the part of administration and what route is, is also an important aspect if by manufacturer they recommend to say this dewema you're going to give one meal to a 50 kg give one meal to a 50 kg don't compromise make sure that this uh, your, uh, administration does not lead to resistance because if you say i'm going to reduce on the part of dosage you are compromising and that is going to have an effect on the part of growth so it's very important this is the news that i wanted to share with the farmers out there so you are free to come through to Livestock Services for guidance. You are free to call in on our provided uh, numbers. We get chatting, we get uh, talking. There are quite a number of things that we need to talk about, but on this brief podcast, I just wanted to share with you that there are quite a number of dewemas and this is the season, the rainy season is here. We need to go in and do the dewemas. This has been uh, Dr. Bernard Mukaya. Thank you so much for your time.